Hey, what's up, everybody? This is DJ Keo, and today I wanted to talk about my thoughts on streaming DJs and and being on platforms like Twitch and Mixcloud and the like. Now, I always feel like whatever you're doing, especially when it comes to this DJ stuff, like it needs to make sense for your business plan and for me personally, and the thing is though, like I think that you need to separate what what works for you from other people because you know it matters about where you live, it matters how long how far along you are in your career. It also matters uh, what you plan to do uh, with this stuff that's that's going on for the future, or your long term, short term plans. And for me, I don't see the value of streaming online. And it's not to say that you shouldn't do it at all. And it's not even to say that it's bad or if you do, you're wasting your time. Because I I feel like if you were DJing and you're trying to DJ professionally, you need to practice. And for a lot of DJs, doing Twitch streams is practice. So I think there's value in that in itself. But I don't think that as it stands right now, especially for gathering gigs or making more money, I don't think that Twitch adds value to your career. I think it adds value to your skills or, you know, just (laughs) being visible. But I haven't, I have not seen, and and again, this is my personal opinion about this, but I'm very curious to what you guys think about this. Have you gotten work from a Twitch stream or a mixed cloud stream or just streaming online? have you gained new customers from this thing? Um, Is this thing generating money for you? I think for most people, the answer is no. I think that a a lot of people actually look at it from a standpoint of, well, Jazzy Jeff is on it and Stack Selectors on it, DJ Scratch is on it. Okay, well, those guys are all brand name DJs who have buzz name recognition, you can actually see them and know who that person is rather than just whatever else. And these factors matter towards the people who watch their stream. But the fact remains to the regular average person, I don't know how much value you're getting for your career by doing the online streams. Now, the thing is, though, it's not to say that you shouldn't do them or it's wrong. But I think that DJs need to look at this kind of thing from the standpoint of focusing more on time, things that are going to improve your career or advance your career. Now, maybe five years from now, oh, see, I don't, I don't know. I, I, has anybody gotten a gig because they play the stream on Twitch? I don't, I don't know the answer to that. I think that it'll probably be useful if you already have the gig and they're like, well, I'd like to see you play some songs or hear a mix or something like that. I think that would probably be useful. But I don't see random person who's looking for a DJ going up to Twitch and like, let me check out DJs in my neighborhood. I don't see that. Generally, people find a DJ because somebody else recommended another DJ or your marketing is spectacular And, you know, you have a company and they just looked in Google and the first DJ name came up. I think that the question is, do the streams help your career? And if so, how? I don't have the answer to that. And I'm I'm very curious because the thing is, though, I'm asking the question because I want the answer. I want to know what other DJs think. I'm not I'm not asking this because I think that this is the only way. And I know what I'm talking about. And I think everybody else is wrong. I don't think that at all. I'm very fascinated by this situation here. And I'm very curious to see how this is benefiting to people. Or is this a waste of time? Um, now we're in this weird spot where a lot of DJs can't work. And so they instantly went to the internet and decided to work and do our thing there. But the internet's oversaturated with other DJs doing the same thing. And I think the other issue is that the internet is global rather than 
this Twitch stream only going to people in your neighborhood or your city who could book you? You know, it's kind of a closed-minded way of thinking, and I, I totally admit that. But because the internet is global, if you have a bunch of subscribers from, say, Amsterdam or, you know, Germany, and you live in Kentucky and you're never going to travel, well, these <laughs> subscribers are useless to you unless you can kind of leverage it into something else. Um, long term, potentially there could be some use to it, but I don't think short term DJs who spend all day doing this stuff are really getting the return on investment from it. I think that this comes down to a way of maybe DJs need to re, I think, rethink how they're using these platforms versus to say that these platforms are no good or you shouldn't do it at all. I think that's what it kind of comes down to. Um, it, it, it's an interesting thing. I don't, I don't have the answer to it at all, but I do feel that DJs in particular, we waste time on a lot of stuff that doesn't matter. For instance, Instagram is not as beneficial to you as you think it is. If just like Facebook is not as beneficial as it used to be. Uh, I don't even think that YouTube is that beneficial, honestly. Um, I don't make these videos because I'm trying to get work. I make these videos because I like making videos and I like talking about this stuff. And I wanted to talk to other DJs about it, but I don't look at my platform as I have to do this because I'm going to get a job from this from tomorrow. Like I don't, I don't, I don't think that's the way to look at it. And it's probably not the best way to look at doing Twitch streams as well. I think that probably it's beneficial if we think about this is a thing that we're doing because we like doing it rather than this is the thing we're doing because we're hoping that there's some kind of outcome from it. Cause I gotta be honest. I, I don't think that DJs have, a particular strategy for what to do online. Think about it like this. A lot of DJs started making streams on Instagram because D-Nice did it. D-Nice already had Oprah and Michelle Obama on speed dial. You know, a lot of, he's he's a celebrity DJ. He does celebrity events with other celebrities. So <laughs> thinking that well, D-Nice did it. Oh, he had 400,000 people who were watching his stream at one time. If I do it, I'm going to build my thing up on the social media designed for you not to grow. I don't think that's realistic, and I don't think that's effective strategy for you. A lot of DJs do things because other DJs did it, but they haven't put any thought into, well, is this beneficial to me or is this a waste of time? And social media, in some regards, is a waste of time. And if you use it correctly, it could be beneficial, but not in the short term. Social media is a long-term strategy. You know, you, you can make your Instagram posts and this kind of thing like that, but Instagram is designed for you not to be found. And they're, they don't want people to go viral anymore. Instagram's entire system is designed for you to pay money for people to see your posts. That's the only way you're going to see your post now. The The days of, well, I just put the right tags in here and I posted at three o'clock and, and, you know, eventually I grew an audience. Those days are over. Every year, Instagram, Facebook, Twitch, YouTube, they change the algorithm for how you're discovered every year. And they break whatever system worked for you to get discovered before. I have videos early on when I started making YouTube. I have 50,000 views on the video. Just me talking on the microphone. I can't get that anymore because the system, the algorithm has changed. Whatever way I was doing before doesn't work anymore. And a lot of DJs are doing the model that worked four years ago today, believing that they're making a dent in the, the tidal wave of social media. And it's not. So I, I don't think it's to be doom and gloom, but I think you should be aware that social media is designed to keep you at a certain level and not grow unless you pay for it. When you see channels that blow up 
exponentially overnight, they're paying for it. Channels that just, they tick up a hundred subscribers here, 200 here, hundred here. They're not paying for it. <laughs> they don't have the resources or access that other channels have. And I, I think that people need to keep that in mind when they use these kind of platforms like Twitch and Facebook and Instagram, and I guess that's redundant YouTube, the whole lot. They're not designed for you to grow naturally. It, it you got to jigger this system and you got to work this system in your favor. So I don't think it's a doom and gloom thing of don't use Twitch, but I think that if you are using it, I think that you need to have a business strategy about why you're using it rather than you're doing it because everybody else is doing it. That's not a winning strategy. You're wasting your time. All right. So, um, yeah, let me know what you guys think about this. If you like to support the channel, you can buy something from my t-shirt shop. That's djkeo.store. I simplified the address and made it easier to find. As well as you can buy something from Instagram, djkeo underscore. Uh, my store is there as well as on my website. I appreciate everybody who supported the channel through the years and got new designs and new stuff is coming soon. Link is in the description as always. And I thank you for watching and uh, peace out, bitches.